I just started reading The Body Keeps a Score by Bessel van der Kolk. I hope I pronounced that right, but yeah. I literally just started and I'm at page 14, I think. 14 or 15. And I'm already tabbing. I, I like underlined two quotes already. So I use like these translucent sticky notes that I got on Shopee. I got like a stack of two and it's so much more satisfying. I just put them on and then I kind of write on it instead of like writing on the paper. Okay, I'm gonna keep reading it and I'll tell you how it goes. But I mean, isn't this cover so beautiful? I just realized I look like a turnip. Why is my hair like this? I'm in chapter two and at one point they're talking about why people who suffer abuse, people who go through war, why they enjoy going back to the same situation because a lot of veterans, they always talk about um, their times when they were in war. They talk about it quite fondly and you know, obviously when it comes to people who come from abusive households or abusive relationships, they tend to always go back. And he explains here that in some way, it's them trying to recreate the same scenarios so they can try to gain control over it and maybe change the outcome. He says, Food had a term for such traumatic reenactments, the compulsion to repeat. He and many of his followers believed that reenactments were an unconscious attempt to get control over a painful situation and that they eventually could lead to mastery and resolution. This reminds me of like, I watched um, Only Murders in the Building and in episode 4, um, the girl who plays the bassoonist, she, the, is she a bassoonist? Yeah, the girl who plays the bassoon, she says something along the lines of, we always try to recreate our first heartbreak so that we could change the ending. I don't know, when I read that, that made me really sad. You know whose cake is this? It's your birthday! I wanted to show you guys that I tried this out yesterday and it's really good because I know that whenever I use like a hydrating serum I should use it with like a damp face so instead of just leaving my face completely wet I spray this on and then I go in with my favorite this guy oh, oops 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 everything fell down I'm at page 44 and 45 and it usually takes me a little longer to read like non-fiction books because I need to properly understand what's going on but he's talking about how when he was studying a group of people who, who were suffering from PTSD they found that the left side of the brain shuts down while the right brain activates let me read this properly so basically the left half of the brain does all the talking, while the right brain is the intuitive, emotional, and the left brain remembers facts, statistics, the vocabulary of events, while the right brain stores our memories of sound, touch, smell. During the study, when the subjects were reminded of traumatic events, they saw that the left brain shut down, so they were unable to communicate, and most importantly, any time in between then and the time of the traumatic event vanished. They didn't realize that what they were feeling was not happening at the current moment. When something reminds traumatized people of the past, their right brain reacts as if a traumatic event was happening in the present time. But because their left brain isn't working very well, they may not be aware that they are re-experiencing and reenacting the past. They're just furious terrified, enraged, ashamed, or frozen. It was really interesting to read about just because I think my biggest problem were flashbacks and, and triggers and the way I'd react is I wouldn't know how to speak or explain what I'm feeling. And I'm someone who communicates very well. I like to talk and I'm very good at talking. So it is funny when suddenly I start stuttering, I can't find the right words, I I space out a lot, I have like attention problems and I have memory problems, I start forgetting what I want to say, what was it that I was talking about, because it, it just feels like 
I'm scared. That's all. That, that's the only way I can explain it. Is that I just feel like I'm scared, and it's never been easy to explain that to people because they're like, "Why? Why are you scared?" You know. But yeah, it's interesting for someone to put that in in a way that makes sense. It makes so much more sense now that when I do remember um, a memory and my right brain activates and all these emotions come up and all the images come up, it makes sense as to how emotional I get. All this time, I just thought I was like tripping you know i thought i was like sometimes it feels like oh have you properly gotten over it if you get this emotional like it's not that i'm not over it it's just that my brain doesn't comprehend it can't understand that it's not happening to me at this current moment it's just a re-experiencing of a bad event oh my god i'm crying and it's only chapter three <laughs> the Glowish by Huda Beauty Malta Dew Skin Tint in the shade Medium. It's a little bit tanner than most of my foundations, but I like the shade. I don't know if I like the formula because where my pores are huge, it separates. Like I feel like if you have really obvious skin texture, I would skip this. Sorry. <laughs> but it's fine. I just want to test it out for the day and see if I'd recommend it to you guys. Anyways, I'm going to try out Tarte's Breezy Cream Blush in the shade Peach Sunset. I like the packaging. Makes me feel like a mermaid, look. This peachy color. I like it. It is nice, it's very natural, but I wish it was a bit more pigmented because I really like a lot of blush, so I think I'm still gonna go over it with a powder blush, but if I'd rate it, I'd rate it like a 7 or 8 out of 10 because the formula is nice. It blended out really easily and the color is really pretty. I also want to try out this guy from One Size. It's their Brow Kiki Clear Nourishing Brow Gel. Because I'm not going to lie, I use wig glue <laughs> to style my eyebrows. I use this guy. If you guys know what this is, I respect you. Because they're just so stubborn and they move in different directions. But we'll see this. But for all of you blessed with normal looking eyebrows, this is good lah. I've never heard of this brand before. The packaging is so cute, look. I'm using Nude Sticks Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm in the color Pulse. My grandma's texting me. I'm gonna go over to my grandparents' house. She's calling me right now. So I'm having lunch with my grandparents and going to their house to spend some time with them and then i have tea with putri we're going to this place called vcr and then we're going to go to burrow afterwards because we want to try out their biscoff latte that i've seen everywhere on instagram everyone's been uh, drinking it so i want to try it out too and yeah i'm also meeting her because i have a few presents for her because she got into a really good uni, I think it was her top choice and she's starting a really good course, she's doing law and I'm just very proud of her, she's like my little sister to me even though I have a little sister but I've known her all our lives and I've watched her grow up and she was there for me when I started uni, when I was in uni and now I get to see her go through it I'm excited to see her struggle <laughs> also I wanted to show you this it's the Nude Sticks Hydra Peptide Lip Butter and I don't know why no one has told me about this before because it looks so good. It's like a lip balm but it's spicy so it makes your lips go like, you know? <laughs> Hold on, let me just show you. Look at that. It makes my lips look like water. This doesn't look like a lip balm, it looks like a lip gloss. Look how it looks. The glow screen body because i use glow screen on my face this is super goop by the way i use glow screen on my face for so long like every single day that's what i use i don't use any other sunblock at the current moment seeing how this looks i think it's a little bit of a shimmer but a little trick that i like to do is i grab whatever highlighter i have 
a big brush and just go over the high points of my body so that it like pops out. It makes me look a lot healthier, especially in photos. This is what I like to do. Major tip. And also this top is from Shopee. The jeans are the thrifted ones that I got. It's a little bit big, so I had, I had to pin it a little bit. So I'm covering it with my hair, but otherwise, I mean, it's pretty reasonable for a Shopee top, right? It's a bodysuit. I think I got it for... I don't remember how much I got it for, but I'll link it down below as per usual. Nene, if I was a worm, would you still love me? Huh? If I was a worm, would you still love me? Worm? Yes. If I was an ulat, will you still love me? Why should I like the ulat? But it's me! <laughs> so you won't love me if I'm an ulat? So you won't keep me? It's me, Nene! <laughs> Why if I say, Nene, it's me? No, Allah, not God won't do that to you. She Don't won't love me her. if I'm an ulat. Oh. Oh, Welcome <laughs> to my unboxing. This is my leaving present. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> I know, of course. Right. For your... No, the thing is, you already showed me this <laughs> for the time. Why? It's huge. <laughs> Why'd you get me so much? Because I felt like you needed... I'm gonna lose it all. <laughs> That's why. So I this love one. it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Thing. More PR deliveries. I'll just ignore this, okay, for the time being, because I just can't be bothered. I came home. So, this is from Too Faced. It gave like a sleeping mask. Oh, the Better Than Sex doll lashes. I don't think I've ever tried this one. But I also got from Rare Beauty another mascara. The last one is this Versace one that I've been waiting for. For Versace? Versace. Okay, I feel like it's gonna look humongous on me, so I don't know, but it's so pretty. I love the details. It's gonna be huge, okay? Don't laugh. Honestly, I think I look quite cute. Top is stolen from my sister and I got a parcel today so I'll unbox it in the car. This one I actually bought myself and I was so excited because it's the same brand that I saw Kendall Jenner wear her orange dress and then I saw M. Rada wear a dress from there as well and then I also saw Hailey Bieber wearing a dress from there. Look at it, Jill! It's like knitted. Back in Brit. Also, I'm back at Bong Store again because we didn't want to admit this yesterday, but me and Putri, we forgot about Boro, and that's the whole reason we went yesterday was because we wanted to go eat at Boro, but we forgot because I came there and I had a tummy ache because I didn't eat the whole day. Just a side note, never eat Tom Yum on an empty stomach. So, yeah, so I'm back here again. This time I brought Julia and I brought Nara because I want to go to Burrow. And this time I won't forget. Cheers! <laughs> See, it fits your face so much better. My face is bigger than yours. Dad doesn't like your mom. <laughs> Thank you. 
is. I want to see what it looks like inside. Oh, it smells good. Oh, very pretty. Let's show them. Oh. Okay, 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 enough, enough, okay. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here just because I filmed so much and she's listening. <laughs> and as for the book, I haven't really been able to read because I've got things to do, but I think I'm gonna try to finish the entire book and then just give you guys a quick summary of like what how it went down instead of giving you constant updates because it's a lot. So I'll just finish the book first and then like my top highlights, I'll share that with you guys. And she's about to cross. But yeah, I'm just gonna end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Sorry. Oh, accidentally, I, I didn't realize I was vlogging here. Yeah? I just clicked it on accident. It's alright. <laughs>